Hi, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Today I wanted to show you like a zero touch deployment of a MTR device based on Cisco devices. I took a Desk Pro, connected it to the network and the power. Did the factory reset. I have the IP address of the device and that's it. So the idea is without going there and touching the device to fully deploy, me, deploy it as a Microsoft Teams room device. Uh, I go ahead and uh, enter the IP address of the device in the browser. I say I want to go and start connecting to it. I use the default username which is admin and no password. Then I'll see the web UI of the like factory reset device. The first thing I'll do is I'll create a new user so I can access it remotely at any time. I go back to the home screen and there I now have the option to register the device to WebEx. So this is what I'm going to do next. I have um, an activation code. I go and register it. I say I remove the tick where it says uh, disable local users because I want to keep being able to register the device or I want to keep being able to access the, dev the device. It says uh, it has registered it to WebEx. <clears throat> it still shows like first time wizard not completed. I'll go ahead and uh, look at the issues a little bit more detail. I say, okay, I want to skip the wizard and I say save. There we go. And now it's not asking me for the wizard again, but the device has been deployed to uh, the WebEx control hub. So from now on, when I go back to the home screen, I can basically go and say remote access. So I can launch remote access, say uh, start, there is no people in the room and it will count down from 20 seconds to zero until it uh, grants me remote access. If I'm in the room, I can get uh, remote access quicker by just accepting it, but this is um, as it's uh, done here as well. So there we go. So I have now the possibility to fully control the device and you can see like one by one next to each other how this is actually working. Okay, so the next thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to like basically check what software version is on the device and if the device is uh, the, the software version is the right one to install Microsoft Teams Rooms. So I go ahead and enter this mix command in there, Microsoft Teams software upgrade. Okay, so I execute the, the command and it will check if there is any upgrade to be done on the device. After waiting a few minutes, I can also like just go and see, okay, what is the status uh, of the software upgrade? Is one uh, planned or running or not? So I can quickly go and remote access device again, just to be sure if it's there or not. There we go. It's showing here. And then I'll go ahead and check in the settings. Okay, there's a blue button about the uh, My Device uh, part and I can say, I can see, okay, there is a, a software upgrade there. I can go ahead and run this upgrade. I'll lose the connection because <clears throat> it will disconnect. Of course, it's going through a restart. The device seems to be back. It's still um, loading on the screen itself, but it's already there. So I can then go ahead and uh, issue the next 
command so i go ahead and say like develop api and this command will now install microsoft teams rooms on the device command is executed it will take a moment for the software to download and uh, then as soon as it is downloaded it will start the installation of microsoft teams rooms software on the device so we'll see that in a few moments so there we go the installation starts so we see that this little wheel turning there okay there we go so we have microsoft teams room software now installed it doesn't display a code right away so in order to see this code um, remotely or the, having the code coming up i have to log into the device again um, home then i say launch remote access and it's another 20 seconds i'll have to wait and maybe yeah in the meantime i can go ahead and open a new private window i can enter microsoft.com slash device login in order to enter that code later on and i can see the code writing it down and then entering it into the device login okay done now i need to log in with the username and password the device shall be registered to sign in continue so now i have the installation for the microsoft teams room is basically done and also the registration should happen so i'll give it a moment and then i'll see the registration to actually being applied to the device there we go it's signing in and there we go we have the device up and running there we go remote access is still working and i can i have deployed fully a microsoft teams room device i can uh, quickly have a look at what else i can do in terms of um, settings I can also go to the Teams admin settings, the meetings part. Webex meetings and the Zoom meetings underneath. I can go back and <clears throat> then I have this configured as well. So basically third party integration, quite important. So let's have a quick look how to join a Webex meeting from an MTR device, which has been remote deployed. That was it. Thanks a lot for watching. That was zero touch deployment of a Microsoft Teams room device on Cisco hardware. I put a factory reset device into the network, have access to the device via IP and the rest I can do remotely. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.